Okay, so today I'm making a cheeseburger or a hamburger pizza. And for my pizza crust, I'm using Rhodes Thaw Rise and Bake Dinner Rolls. Before I add the rolls, I'm gonna add just a drizzle of olive oil to my bowl. There we go. Then I'm going to add my frozen rolls, and just like the bag says, it's a thaw rise, and then, you know, you bake it. So I'm using a 12 inch cast iron skillet for my pizza today. So I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna thaw 10 rolls. Yeah, did I do 10? 10 rolls. So I'm going to thaw and then proof it in my oven with the oven light on. It's just a warm, non-drafty spot for these to uh, thaw and rise. So going into my oven, it's gonna take like three to five hours. In a preheated pan, I'm gonna cook my ground beef. And actually, that needs to be higher. It needs to sizzle. I'm going to use granulated garlic powder. You probably could mix this and pre-season in a bowl or something. Onion powder. Italian seasoning. This is like a blend of dried herbs. And I'm going in with like three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. And just start breaking the meat apart and cooking it through. Once it's done, you can taste it and adjust the seasonings to your preference. I'm also going to add some smoked paprika. I want that smoky, like grilled flavor that you get with like a, a charbroiled burger. So that's why I'm adding it. You don't have to, but I like to add it. So now I'm just gonna continue cooking until it's done. Okay. So this is cooked and I'm just gonna let this hang out until I get my dough ready. And I'm also gonna start shredding my cheese and just leave that in the fridge ready for later use. Okay, so I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah. This is done. So it's been a couple of hours for sure. Three hours. Oh yeah, why did the top get like that? Anyways, so I'm not gonna mess with it too much and I'm gonna place it into my cast iron skillet. So first I'm gonna prep the cast iron skillet. Okay, so in my cast iron skillet, I'm gonna add olive oil to the bottom. Here I have some yellow cornmeal and I'm gonna sprinkle that at the bottom. And that's just gonna give texture and make it easier. Well, I should've probably spread it around. Make it easier to release the, the crust once it's cooked. Okay. So I'm gonna carefully take, I actually should just the dough, plop the dough right in there. And I'm gonna spread it out. Just gonna spread it out. And I'm gonna, I'm doing this one-handed, but if I had both my hands. So I'm just gonna spread this out and cover the bottom of my 12 inch cast iron skillet. Okay, so I spread out the dough. I'm gonna cover it, loosely cover it, and put it back into my oven and let it proof for like 30 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to remove this. It still has like 10 minutes or so of rest time, but I'm gonna preheat the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Oops. So let's get, so let's do bake. 450, start. There we go. Okay, so I, I've shredded my cheese. I'm using Half low moisture mozzarella and half uh, cheddar cheese. This is sharp or mild, I can't remember. Okay, and for the topping here, I'm gonna go with store-bought pizza sauce, my cooked ground beef. Okay, so. Okay, so going in with a little bit of my pizza sauce. 
That should do the trick. And I'm just going to spread it out. I love the way the dough smells. And I'm just taking it all the way to the edge. That's going to give you the crispy edges of a pan pizza. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay. Now I'm going to go in just with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Let's shake that around. Oh, that's nice. So I'm going to do like layers here. I'll sprinkle some ground beef, like half of it. This is really going to be a hearty pan pizza with ground beef on it. I mean, you could make two of these pizzas and just split the ground beef, but eh, I'll, I, I might not use the entire pound. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my cheese. You know, at this point, I could mix it. Let's just mix that. And like I said, low moisture mozzarella and cheddar cheese. Here we go. Probably somewhere like five to six ounces of cheese works for this. If you want it cheesy, you know, that's up to you. I really want this cheesy. Okay. So it looks like I'm not going to use the entire pound, which is okay, because I can save this for later use. I'm going to sprinkle over a little bit more. So probably for this recipe, a half pound of lean ground beef is what you would use. So yeah, half of it's left. Now with the rest of that cheese, finish it off there. Okay, I'm preheating my oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. So the pizza's put together. What I like to do to get a crispy bottom, I am going to cook this uh, just over like a medium heat for about five minutes. It really does work a lot better if I had like a wider burner or a, a range here, but I'll do the best I can on the largest burner. So about five minutes over medium heat, I'm just going to let it cook the bottom. At that point, my oven will be preheated and it's going into the oven. Okay, so this has been going somewhere between like five to seven minutes works for this. And you can see that it's kind of bubbling on the edges. I can smell it already, so I'm shutting it off and I'm going to get some help putting this in my preheated oven. Okay, this is going into my preheated oven carefully. There we go. Okay, so it has been around 10 minutes. I'm going to shut off because it is hot. But yeah, this looks like it's definitely done. So I'm going to remove this with the help of my husband. I'm going to put this over on the stove. And if you feel like you want it crustier on top, you could broil it. But look at that, 450 for about 10 to 12 minutes. I think that did the trick. So I'm gonna let it set for a couple of minutes and then I'm gonna start loosening the edges to take it out. Um, or you could just cut it in the pan and serve it from here. That also works. Oh gosh, oh yeah, I can tell it's very, has a very good crusty texture on the edges. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted. With the help of the olive oil and the, the cornmeal at the bottom, it really helps to lift up the crust. Pre-cut the edges, because that's the hardest part. I'm going to see if this works. I want to see if I can take out a slice from the pan. And as you can see, I pre-cut that edge, so I'm just kneading it. There we go. Oh yeah, that worked. So I'm going to take it across. There we go. Yeah, this works. Okay, so I've cut the pieces. Oh yeah looks great. 
so good. I'll show you because I oops because I started it on the stove. Check out that crust, super crispy. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.